Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title today, I'm going to be building or like putting together my bookshelf or what I'm hoping will be my bookshelf. I don't really know how this is going to work out. I'm hoping for the best. But yes, today is not going to be like a sit down video. It's going to be kind of like semi vlog style, but I'm going to put this together and hopefully it works and it holds my books. And then I'm going to also try to organize my books and figure out a system. I have so many different like things running through my mind in terms of like how I want to organize it so I haven't actually settled on anything yet. So we'll see how that goes too. But if you'd like to see this project in progress and see how it turns out then keep on watching. the next day. I don't 
Okay, so I mostly have it organized now. So I have, I made up my own categories. I mean, these are real categories, but like, they're categories that wouldn't necessarily fit for the average person, but it works for me. So these are all of like my mystery, thriller, suspense books. All of my general fiction or books that I'm not really sure what it is, so I'm calling it general fiction. Fantasy is back here. And then romance. And then just all of my hardcover books are over there. And then if you can see Paper Girls, that book is really big. It's not a hardcover, but it's huge and it's heavy. So it's over there in the corner. And then my Akatar books are back there. You probably can't see them because they're behind the fantasy and the romance. And then my Shatter Me series is also over here. And then these two mass paperbacks that I got. I hate these books because they're like weird and short and chunky and they just don't look aesthetic with the rest of the books. But they're here another, nevertheless. And my manga and then Tomi is over there which is also manga but it's with the hardcover books because it's hardcover. So yeah, I'm, I think what I'm going to try to do it's put all of my hardcover books on the bottom just because they're heavier obviously and then I'm gonna try to maybe do columns that are different this is gonna be really loud when it comes on probably sorry but try to do columns like by genre so like the first column might be like romance and then mystery and then I don't know what else do I have general fiction I'm gonna combine sci-fi and fantasy that's gonna go together that for me is like one section most of the times in like bookstores and stuff sci-fi and fantasy is usually near each other anyway so I don't have a lot of sci-fi books so it just makes sense to just lump them in with the fantasy but I think I'm also going to include my manga with my fantasy as well just because the manga that I have is very fantasy like anyway um, so it just it just works in terms of like trying to combine and conserve and save space I'm not gonna organize them by like author's last name because most of the time I couldn't even tell you who wrote half of these books. <laughs> so for me to remember their last name in order for me to find it on my shelf, I would have to literally Google the book, find out who wrote it in order to find it on my shelf in my own house. So I'm not doing that. I'm probably going to organize it by title, like alphabetically by title, because I'm going to remember the title of the book before I remember the author or anything else. So I'll try to organize it by genre and by title. Does that mean, bless you, my dog just sneezed, <laughs> but does that mean that books that are part of a series might get broken up? Yes, because if the titles are not alphabetical or whatever, they'll get broken up, but I'll just make sure that that doesn't happen. I'll just make sure that I keep my sets together, even if that falls outside of the organizational scheme that I'm trying to do. You'll see, it'll make sense, hopefully, <laughs> when I start doing it. camera stopped recording and I didn't know and I have no idea when it stopped recording so this is what I've done between whenever it stopped recording and now I don't think that I 
haven't said this earlier this shelf was only like 50 bucks i got it off of amazon i'll link it down below i also decided to separate my red from my unread books um so all of like my unread you know romance are in a different section or a different cube than like my red romance i had a feeling that if i mix them together then it would be really easy for me to overlook books that i haven't read and then they'd sit on my shelf for forever so i decided to separate them that way i can see like all of my unread fantasy all of my unread romance all of my unread whatever and that way it would help me prioritize them and actually read them so that was something that i decided to do that i don't think i mentioned earlier With that being said comment down below how you organize your bookshelves i'm very curious to hear do you organize by color do you organize by author's last name do you organize by publish publishing year or do you organize by like when you got them like first in first out kind of thing if i do make any like drastic changes or anything i'll be sure to keep you guys posted whether that be here in another video or on my instagram or something like that if you don't follow me on instagram be sure to do that of course my socials will be down below in the description as usual and so yeah now you guys have seen the finished product Thank you if you made it this far into the video for watching. And before you go, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.